Welcome to News USA Today, where we bring you the latest in trending news about America. If you are new to our channel, please hit the subscription button and turn on the bell icon to get our latest updates. Jennifer McClellan, a Virginia state senator, won a Democratic primary in a special House election in the state's 4th Congressional District, according to the local Democratic Party. The victory early Wednesday puts her on a path to become the first black woman to represent Virginia in Congress. The special election, to fill the seat held by Rep. A. Donald McEachin until his death late last month, is scheduled for February 21. Mr. McEachin, a Democrat, overwhelmingly won re-election in the midterms, but died weeks later at the age of 61 after a years-long battle with colorectal cancer. Because the district leans Democratic, it is a predominantly Black and Latino region that stretches from Richmond into rural counties along the North Carolina border, Ms. McClellan is highly favored to win in February. She will face Leon Benjamin, a Republican and local pastor. Ms. McClellan, whose state Senate district largely overlaps with that of the House seat she is seeking, ran unsuccessfully for governor last year in a crowded primary field, but the effort elevated her statewide profile. She won the special primary with nearly 85% of the 27,900 votes cast, according to the state's Democratic Party. In the final days of the one-week primary campaign, an overwhelming majority of Virginia Democrats coalesced around Ms. McClellan's candidacy. All eight members of Virginia's Democratic congressional delegation threw their support behind her, as did scores of state lawmakers and several national groups supporting women and candidates of color. Ms. McClellan centered her message on her Virginia roots and legislative accomplishments. In an interview on Friday, she said being a black woman had helped shape her policies, particularly on workers' rights and maternal health. Her top Democratic rival was State Senator Joe Morrissey, a self-described rebel within the party. Mr. Morrissey, a former defense lawyer, was disbarred twice and spent time in jail for aiding the delinquency of a minor in 2014. The minor involved later became his wife. In January 2022, then-Gov Ralph Northam pardoned Mr. Morrissey for his conviction in the case. Mr. Morrissey has voted against Democratic policies and has signaled his opposition to proposed state policies protecting abortion access. Thank you for watching. Smash that like button. Leave a comment if you enjoyed watching and share the video on your social media. Please follow and subscribe to News USA Today and hit that notification icon.